Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ, or maybe good evening for you or whenever you see this. Today is Saturday, January 30th. My, my, we've already finished another month already. One more day, and then we're into February. I never thought we'd be here this long. <laughs> Not through all that's happening. Well, anyway, let me give you an encouraging word from the Lord. This was given to Lynn Johnson, and it's called, Are You Ready to Begin, My Children? I am. How about you? Posted by 444 Prophecy News on January 28th, 2021. Lynn posted it to them on the 27th. Okay. As events begin to happen, the Lord, Yeshua says, I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness and will hold your hand. And that's Isaiah 42, verse 6, New King James Version. Let me repeat that. I, the Lord have called you in righteousness and will hold your hand. He will always be there for us. Now, word received December 30th. One month ago, she got this word at 12.52 a.m. The time is upon you. Prepare to see the things that have been foretold in my word. This is the time of fulfillment, the time of miracles and wonders. Remember that scripture? Greater things than these shall you do. When they were talking about what he had been doing. The time to bring my lost sheep into the kingdom of glory. I wonder if that's, a, that's not a complete sentence, but that may be how he worded it. It is, this is the time of fulfillment. The, maybe that should be a comma there. The time of miracles and wonders. The time to bring my lost sheep into the kingdom of glory. Hallelujah. Are you ready to begin, my children? To press forward, to make a way for the lost, to enter into their destiny, and to see the recompense of the wicked. Those who have become un redeemable through their own choice and how have people just recently become unredeemable for it will happen as all in my word will come to pass this age must end so that the new age of glory can be ushered in not the new age of the new world order. That's me adding that. This is the time of many exploits which will be accomplished by you. This is the time of many exploits which will be accomplished by you, the workers of the great harvest of souls. There is much to be done in a short time. It begins. It begins. Get ready for it begins. Your King Yeshua, Redeemer Messiah, stay strong, listen to my voice, and you will succeed. The scriptures given 
our Psalm 27 1. These are all New King James Version. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Isaiah 1, 28. The destruction of transgressors and of sinners shall be together, and those who forsake the Lord shall be consumed. Yep. You better trust in the Lord, no matter how rough it gets. After the first rapture, and we come back, and we harvest the wheat, as Jesus put it to me, we will be harvesting the wheat. Remember when he said, the harvest is great, but the workers are few. Harvest is plentiful. I think in one version it says plentiful, but the workers are few. That's because there, there's only 144,000 in the bride and some others. So maybe 200,000, 250,000. And how many people are on the earth? 7.8 billion that we have to reach within a short period of time. And then we'll go back and get to go into heaven. Oh, it'll be so... It, I, as much as I want to be in heaven with Jesus and Father, I want to do this for him more, even more, to save more people, keep them from taking the V, and help them get into heaven. Don't you all want to do that? You cannot be killed. Nothing can harm you. Uh, a lot of us in the Team Jesus think Psalm 91 has to do with... Hey, that's not barking. Woof. That's better. I told him that's not barking. It's just making noise. Okay, anyway, where was I? The destruction of transgressors and of sinners shall be together, and those who forsake the Lord shall be consumed. Forsaking the Lord is taking the V. It's also other ways, turning your back, refusing to believe in Him as your Savior. That's forsaking the Lord also. And a lot of these will be Christians who... Maybe their wife and babies got taken, and they didn't. So they think the word was wrong. He believed too, and he didn't go. So he forsook the Lord and ended up taking it later. I don't know, but I know there's a lot of ways you can forsake the Lord. You're turning your back on him, however you do it. Isaiah 3.11 Woe to the wicked! It shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. Jeremiah 2, verse 7. Have you not brought this on yourself, in that you have forsaken the Lord your God when he led you in the way? You see, God will not take it kindly that you forsook him and trusted in the medicine, medicine with quotes, more like poison, of man instead of the word of God. That he will take care of you just like he feeds the birds, he'll feed you. He clothes the lilies of the field, he will clothe you also. You don't have to worry if it costs you your job. And you think, well, how am I going to feed my family? Well, you keep them all safe from things to come. And God will provide. Then they will cry to the Lord. This is Micah 3, 4. 
Then they will cry to the Lord, but he will not hear them. He will even hide his face from them at that time because they have been evil in their deeds. And men can sure enough be evil in their deeds, all kinds of deeds. But they're forgivable except for that one. I know it says they get, the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is unforgivable. And that was for the whole church age. But now this is, it's like we've moved into a new era. And not only is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit unforgivable, but so is taking the V. All right. When Oh, I got to do that one next. When judgments finish, my wrath begins. Yes, see, his wrath doesn't begin until after the second rapture, which is in shown in Revelation chapter 7. Starts at verse 10. That is the, before that is the great tribulation, okay? That's judgments. Um, he's allowing Satan to do what he wants to do, but he only has a short time. God is allowing it because those are judgments, but the wrath is like a greater judgment. So anyway, I'm going to end this one here. I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of us, our devices, and our internet connections. And with that, I'm going to say God bless, God bless you all as well, and I will talk to you later. Bye for now.